What I'd like to share with uh, your viewers is some of the innovative and thoughtful uh, elements of our flex bed. Uh, this is a result of uh, time directly spent with our target customer, trying to understand exactly what sort of uh, pain points they had with their uh, cargo capabilities and their hauling capabilities of the current vehicle that they drive. If I could uh, start first with the tailgate, one of the first things that you might notice is what I refer to uh, as a multi-position tailgate. Uh, what this does is that it allows you to actually uh, engage the tailgate so that it is at like a midpoint of 45 degrees. You might say, well, what does this do for me? It actually gives you a flat surface to uh, insert uh, things like plywood, fiberboard, sheetrock, uh, different types of, uh, it's getting caught on my glove, different types of construction material that allows you to there we go. That allows you to put, position it in the bed without having it being cantilevered or uh, kind of angled or cocked at an angle that might uh, lead to it falling out. If you take kind of a, a low shot trying to align with uh, this leading edge of the tailgate, you'll notice that it actually aligns with this inner box wheel well area. And that's specifically designed so that it can hold a piece or pieces of four by eight plywood uh, in a level manner and take advantage of the many tie downs that are available in the bed and in the tailgate portion to secure that cargo. So let me go get the piece of, of plywood and you'll see exactly what I mean. So anyone who struggled with plywood at a Home Depot or big box store knows that it's quite a challenge to get uh, this kind of oblong piece of plywood inside. But if you're able to uh, have it be on a level surface and utilize these tie downs, you're actually able to secure your load without having to worry about it teetering or uh, coming out uh, accidentally. So we're really excited about being able to engineer something that's relatively simple but is quite an innovative solution uh, to uh, to accommodate cargo um, another item that i would point out uh, is overall uh, we have a total of 10 tie downs that are available we have tie downs as i mentioned in the tailgate we have tie downs that are here in the uh, back portion uh, of, of the of the bed uh, we have cleats that serve as tie downs that are adjustable. And then there are actually tie downs in the bottom of the, of the load floor. So let me help illustrate that for you. And as you can see, this slides right out. Now, when we actually spent some time with customers in market research, they thought these type of uh, slats and platform areas were an example of how uh, Ford was really taking to heart how customers actually use their vehicles. You can um, imagine, and I can show you in a moment, the use of two by fours and two by sixes to create individual um, cargo areas that are separated uh, and you can do that with uh, very little expense. Just getting a few pieces of wood and you've got two or three different configurations that can accommodate different configurations of cargo. Our target customer actually is a very active individual. Um, however, they are of limited means. Um, they might spend a fair amount on a very capable mountain bike, but they don't have the disposable income for, let's say, a, a high-end bike rack. So in, just as an example of how we took into consideration how customers use the vehicle, you can actually create your own DIY bike rack. Uh, if you take the front wheel off, uh, you can actually have the bike in the, the bed with the tailgate closed, 
this serves as a space to retain the front wheel. Um, and then with just a two by four, a couple of clamps, uh, you can actually make your own bike rack. Um, and so again, that, that illustrates how uh, much effort we, we put into this in terms of forethought, how the customer might use it. Um, and you can imagine um, customers putting, let's say, other uh, two by six portions here to create a second level. So like if you were going to uh, the grocery store or going to a farmer's market, you could kind of create two levels uh, to serve uh, a greater uh, cargo capability uh, with just a few pieces of wood. So that, that's one thing I wanted to share with you. I also wanted to point out a very innovative feature that uh, made, made use of what's otherwise dead space. Uh, this is what we call the, the cubby storage. Uh, this is standard on XLT and standard on Lariat. You'll notice there's hidden storage there. And within the hidden storage is more hidden storage. And you can see how we've taken what is otherwise the dead space between the outer pickup box and the inner pickup box and created a finished trimmed off piece of storage or area of storage that you can store things like um, bungee cords, uh, you know, any type of uh, ratchet cinches to, to hold down your load. It's a perfect place to kind of put things uh, out of place, keep it uh, clean and keep, keep it away, away from rain or snow. Um, so just those sort of clever things that, that went into the uh, design and um, execution of, of this just by getting input from customers. Um, two other items that I wanted to share with you. We found that our target customer, you know, was very scrappy when it came to doing their own electrical wiring. And so we wanted to kind of make that an easier uh, operation for them. Uh, some customers were cutting into the wiring for the tail lamps, which was compromising their, uh, their battery or their electrical system. And every uh, Maverick comes with a standard uh, pre-wire for 12 volt uh, splicing. Uh, it's part of the electrical system uh, and it, it preserves the integrity of the electrical system and won't cause a battery drain. And that's standard, as I said, and there are two of them, one on each side. And then in the Lux packages on XLT as well as Lariat, we have a 110 volt, 400 watt outlet. There's one in the bed here, as you can see, and then one on the center rear console inside the cabin. And then of course, a very bright LED light here to illuminate what you might be doing in the dark. So when we researched this, um, yeah, once we got the feedback, customers said, you know, Ford is really thinking about how I use my vehicle. Uh, they're doing things to make uh, my life easier in terms of how I use my vehicle. And this helped take away a lot of those pain points that they were experiencing.